We've got access to base security. We can put the alarms from here, maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Ganto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Ah, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but leave them like this. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it.
told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savata of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Can you help me, or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They've piped it in for days now. Something's not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small in the noise. Just not go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? Simple! I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanopt is neurospecialist, but this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I'd expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh!
Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. We need to wrap things up in there, fast. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the new.
This place is an abomination. Our turn. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move.
Hold on, Lieutenant. I'm coming back to get you. Negative. There's just too many of them. I don't think we can hold them off. I'm activating the bomb. Alenko, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you, and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. Visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. 
You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die.